Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we took the big whale over to Bahamut's cave, or Cave Bahamut, and um, pretty much um, worked our way through here. Picked up some new equipment for Cecil. We got the, uh, the whole samurai set of armor, actually, and uh, we fought some uh, behemoths on the way here. Um, I showed the first one in the last episode, and then there were two more on the way here on the third floor. I went ahead and took care of those off screen, and um, along the way, uh, Rosa gained a level. She's on 55 right now. And let's see, yeah, this, uh, the one point actually right behind me, one, yeah, one space back is where I fought the second behemoth, just a uh, heads up there. And there's people here, and, okay, let's talk to them. What do you need? Well, I'm here for Bahamut. You're a half, half Lunarian, yeah, Fusia yeah, pretty much already went over that. Already, and yeah, and that, that is a Bahamut up there, just so you know. And, uh, one, real, uh, one thing, real quick, just to make sure you do this, have the wall spell up very, very close to the top of your spells list, so you access it quicker. You'll see why in a little bit. So it's, why does he kind of look like Edward, sort of? It looks like he has a bard form to him. Could have been down without the power of light. Pain of us monsters. Ooh, so scary. Oh, the screen's going black. Okay, I'm scared. And it's boss time against Bahamut. And yeah, see the countdown up there? Yeah, you want to get wall on everybody before that countdown hits zero. So let's go... Pretty much, yeah, Cecil and Edge take first priority. And then, um, go for the mages afterwards. Let's see, so, yes, um, I already have it, then did it's Edge. And uh, let's see, I really just have her go with Newt, or leave you in if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Let's see, down to three, okay, Rosa, you did wall on yourself next. Then Rydia, you go for another Newt. See, Edge, you attack. Is that, this is actually a pretty straightforward battle. We, you just want to make sure he has wall stabs on everybody before the countdown hits zero. Or at least as many people as possible if you can't get on everybody. And yeah, you will see why in a quick second. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, get over the wall. On Rydia. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. And countdown hits zero yet? Yes. Mega Newt! Oh, the wall wore off of me, ow. Ow! That hurt, and I got gypped. <laughs> that sucked. I just missed out on experience points right there. Oh, already well, gained a level, and we defeated, ba defeated Bahamut. I keep wanting to say Bahamut. I say Bahamut anyway, but oh well. And yeah, that kind of sucked. I didn't think wall would wear off right there, like right as he used Mega Newt, so. Yeah, I missed out, but that's okay. I'm the highest level character here anyway, so it's no big deal. So. Um, yeah, just get a life 2 on me real quick. And then, yeah, we have the Bahamut summon. This is pretty much the best summon in the game, really. Takes 60 MP, and it is definitely worth it. So let's move Bahamut right up to the top. Okay, and now that we're done here, let's go ahead and just exit out of here. It, it should work here. I don't see why it wouldn't. There we go. And yeah, I really have no need to come back there anymore. Unless you want to train, but... That's, uh, we'll worry about that later. And, uh, random battle. This would happen right after I want to, like, ride the kill Bahamut, and as soon as I get out of here, really, figures. Okay, stop attacking Rydia. Just run away. Thank you. And because of that annoyance, I had to waste a heal on Rydia. I don't feel like walking back. Well, I'm gonna go back to the Bidwell anyway, but I just don't feel like dealing with the poison on the way back, so... And yeah, before we actually head back down to Earth now, because there's nothing we can do here, for right now anyway, so, um... I do want to go back to the, the Humming Way Home and buy a few supplies. Because, yeah, before I fought Bahamut, um... Before that off-screen, I just went ahead and, um... Uh, healed up with items and all that, because I didn't feel like walking all the way back, so... Yeah, don't talk to the crystal quite yet. I'll be doing that in just a second. Now, gee, now that I think of it, I want to check my status. Say, mine personally, of Cecil's. See, oh, he would have leveled up to that. Ah, that's such. Oh well, that's okay. No big deal. Let's see. How many way home? Uh, right here. Oh, jeez, looking past it. Uh, oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought well, it wasn't gonna work right there, but it would appear as though it did. Yeah, I do want to buy some supplies. Pretty much just some like other ones and stuff. Cause I actually did use a handful of those before. Yeah, you gotta wonder, like, what these guys are really doing here, I mean... Like, why live on the moon? That seems kinda weird. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll just buy like ten other ones and oh, do I want ten other twos? Um, that's five hundred grand. Damn, that's a lot. Sure, I'll go for it. Why not? There you go. Gotta love having a plane of MP restoring items. Okay, and uh, one thing, yeah, I want to save real quick first before that. Well, I mean, yeah, after the battle with Bahamut, obviously. It's, it's really not that hard, as you just saw. Just as long as you didn't do it. Uh, as long as you didn't wall on everybody first. Jeez, I can't talk today. What else is new? Okay, anyway, talk to the crystal. Yeah, make sure. Probably a good idea to save before you talk to it, because this will throw us into an automatic seat once back on Earth. And yay, awesome transition. And oh my god, Earth, hi. And uh, it automatically brings us back to um, Ebalon and Tower of Babel. And whoa, whoa, string shaking. And it's turning blue. Chances are this probably isn't good. Um, Rydia? Scream! I, I don't know. That's just kind of weird. Oh god. Giant of Babel. Oh god. Oh god. I don't see him yet. Maybe Fusia's line. Wait. Nope. Nope. There he is. Oh, he doesn't look all that big. Well, I guess if we're on the world map right next to him, yeah, that just would appear pretty big. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. Um. Wow. There's no need to do that, Mr. Giant of Babel. Or Babel. However you pronounce it. I say Babel, so whatever. You need to stop doing that. It's really not nice. But I guess he's here to destroy the world and all that, so I guess that's his excuse. I don't know. Okay, so we just stand here and just watch, or we can actually do something about this, because, yeah, he's just destroying the entire area there. Oh, it's terrible! It's terrible! Oh, I went there. Hey, what? What is that? I don't see anything. Oh, whoa, something's shooting at it. But what? Oh, it's a Dwarven Tanks! How the hell did they get up here? I don't know how. I just Oh, they do have... Do they have airships? No, no they don't. No. And ho oh, it's Yane with the Sylphs! Sweet! It's a giant reunion of party members! Yay! And oh, sweet are the airships, too! Haha! -ha. Finally, we're getting help. And oh, it's Sid! Yay, he's back too! So, does that mean... Oh god, no. Please don't tell me he's back. Okay, well, Pal and Portal are back, that's a plus! Oh, so I guess the Elders assume the spell was better than tell us. Oh, just his heal spell. And... Yep! The Spoonie Bar is back too. That's... just... great. And whoa, holy crap, big ol' battle going on over here. Are we gonna help too? Like, does the big wheel have weapons on it or anything? I don't think it actually does. He's intimidated. Okay, I would... I, I guess. Okay, I have to go inside the giant and destroy its control system. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it makes sense to destroy the core and you uh, destroy the uh, entire thing. That's the logical thing to do. And awesome music right here. Epic music. So yeah, apparently we're going through the uh, giant's mouth. That's just lovely. Or, yeah, it did say mouth, didn't they? I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. We're going in. Whether the giant likes it or not. That sounded kinky. Anyway. Okay, did we really need to spin... Okay, and we are inside the Giant of Babel, and, well, pretty techy inside. It's pretty cool, actually. And random battle right off the bat. Searchers and machines. Now, what we want to do... Um, these guys are actually all weak against lightning. So, let's see, physical attacks first. And now, keep, um, for the searcher, keep that in mind. Uh, I won't do it right now, but later on, I do actually want to, um... Steal an item from it. Yeah, I'll use, um, edges. I forget what steel is translated in this game. I can't honestly remember. Yeah, we can steal, um, 
Again, I forget what it is in this translation, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's an alert or an alarm item. And th what that does, it automatically calls the rarest enemy in a room at any different time. Like, as soon as you use it, boom, the rarest battle. And that will be very, very useful. If you guys have played this before, you probably know what I'm talking about already. But for those who don't, I'm not going to spoil it, so we'll just worry about that later. And also, yeah, you want to take it out in one hit, so just go Lit 3 on it to take care of it in one hit. Otherwise, yeah, he'll do an alert and crap. Yeah, it wasn't quite strong enough to kill it in one hit, and... Let's see, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, so... Hurry up, guys, there you go, okay. Oh, yay, Dana level, and so did Edge. Okay, alright then, guys, so next time, let's play Final Fantasy IV, we, we will continue our way through the Giant of Battle to see if we can finally destroy it. This has been our Movies on Enough, guys, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.